First one is something that we've been talking about a lot. It's the lifestyle principle, which is having a life outside of him, right? Getting hobbies. Like so many women, what they end up doing is they just like, when they get into a relationship with a guy or they start dating a guy, some even like when they start talking to a guy, they like lose everything else that's going on in their life and they end up just getting on this guy. And sometimes it happens with guys too. And, you know, it's not just exclusive to women, but I see a lot of women in our community and women that I talk to doing this. And it can really, really destroy things because what you end up doing is just putting everything in, right? And making everything about him. And it puts a lot of pressure on him and it makes him kind of question like what's going on here. And it doesn't make him feel like you're really special and valuable and amazing. And that's what you want him to do is feel those things. And so what you want to do is get hobbies, have friends that you go and hang out with, you know, have a life outside of him. If you're not exclusive with him yet, what you want to do is make sure that you're still dating other people and still having, and I'm not suggesting sleeping around. I don't think you should be sleeping around, but you should definitely be dating and seeing other guys if you guys aren't exclusive yet, even if you're not really serious about any of those guys, just so that you are feeling and coming from a space of abundance, which I talk a lot about as well. And so uh, another thing that you want to think about in terms of the li- this lifestyle component is that you don't want to have such a full life that there's no space for him or a man to be there. But there's enough things going on so that you don't just end up living your life for him and the relationship that you have together, right? Because I I see a lot of women sometimes that end up, they're like, well, I don't even really have any time to meet or date anybody, (laughs) you know, like I've got this one time, you know, one hour, uh, one day a week for guys to hang out and meet up with me. And it's like, you don't really have space for a man to be in your life. And so you, you don't want to go to the extremes on any of these things. There's a there's a beautiful thing called the golden middle and that's really where you want to be.